Good morning, good morning, good morning. Also, yesterday I wore this hat right here from old country to coast. Wanted to give a big shout out to them. Uh, thank you very much for the hat. Love it. Um, I wore it yesterday and went, meant to mention it and forgot to mention it. So I'm going to start out this morning before I get to going and mention it. So country to coast. Thanks, guys. Love the hat. Grays and blues are my favorite colors for hats. But I got a special one for y'all today, guys. Uh, as y'all know, we just got through taking down the shed. Just moved into the tiny house and all of that. And uh, my neighbor also gave me another cabin. Um, it's in worse shape than the shop as far as building wise, but there's a lot of good, good materials on it. He is planning on burning it down this uh, winter and told me I could have whatever I want off of it and uh but i need to get it done before winter there's metal there's trusses there's all kinds of really good building materials that's uh can be very very useful and originally i was going to uh keep it and turn it into some kind of shelter for the animals and stuff but i have decided to gift it to the drifting dreamers now they have not seen this building yet guys as you can see in the background i got mike on the bumper right there and Alyssa is following and uh I'm going to uh show it to them today and uh see what they think about it now I'm going to pre-warn you guys the views here are absolutely incredible I mean million dollar views where this cabin is sitting it is going to be such a beautiful place to work for a couple of days taking this structure down um if y'all think the views with the shop that i took down were nice wait until you see these views here unbelievable i would love to have this property it's just absolutely gorgeous and if we're lucky guys we're going to see 20 this morning because this is the field that 20 was in and uh last time that i came with the neighbor and uh simple life reclaim and roxanne from country road cure 20 was actually there and i got to see 20 again and i got to learn a little bit about 20. 20 actually came from a very popular horse ranch in texas it is actually where uh 20 came from so pretty cool i got to see 20 again and we might get to see her this morning so but we are going through the gate now What's up, buddy? We are right now live with Keeping It Real. What's up? Keeping it real. <laughs> We're just keeping it real. We're just keeping it real. Uh, oh, yeah, got Lisa over there spinning behind me. I'm going to flip y'all around so y'all can enjoy the views, and then I'll bring y'all back whenever we get to the actual cabin. This right here is going to be a blessing for these guys. They've been wanting to uh, build a little structure for the boys to stay in this winter. You can leave it open for now. Uh, build a little structure for the boys for the winter and stuff. And uh, so I talked to Mike and I told him, I said, look, uh, I've been thinking about something and uh, it'll be a while before I use that other building. How, how about I just give it to y'all? If y'all are gonna use it for the boys. I said, if y'all ain't, if y'all don't wanna use it for the boys or whatever, then I'll go ahead and just take it down and put it up there and end up making it like a little barn or something for the goats. But if y'all, uh want to go that route and use this to build for the boys for the winter then i am more than willing to uh gift it to y'all re-gift it now, i was gifted it and now i'm gonna re-gift it so absolutely cool and i'm very very glad that my neighbor hooked me up where i could hook them up and uh and yeah we can get the boys a little structure to stay in so they got a little more elbow room so it's a win-win for everybody let me flip y'all around uh, the sun is not working in our favor. It's a little blurry, guys. I'm sorry. But it's definitely a beautiful morning. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's too blurry. The sun is not allowing my phone to focus. Alright, me until we get up here. 
because my windshield's got a little bit of dirt on it and the way the sun's hitting it, it's just way too much of a glare. Oh yeah, I see 20 guys, I see 20. I'm excited, I love 20. I did put it out there that I would like to purchase 20 one day uh, with my neighbor too, so. Uh, well, we are pulling up. Let me get out of here and get parked and get y'all off the, the little thing here. We're gonna start off with the views. Let me show you these views, guys. Let me chicken view. Bam! Ooh, man. And guys, on a clear day, you can see mountains all the way to Danville, like all of them, and all of Mount Magazine with rolling hills and lakes. It is absolutely stunning. Listen, look at this. This is like a million dollar views. And look, guys, there's 20 hey. and her friend. Yep, this is where the horses are being kept. There's plenty of water. You can see all the cows over there in the lake. It's absolutely gorgeous. Well, I've already been rambling on here for about six minutes. And I've already told them what the game plan is. And I will be gifting y'all the shed that was gifted to me. Man. And uh, to get the boys. Hey, thank you so much. Man. <laughs> I to get the boys yeah, out of... Uh, get the boys out of the trailer and get a little bit of elbow room for you guys for the winter and uh i'm excited about it you know the the shop up there was a big need for me and uh when he told me he had the other one i had no idea what i was coming to see you know what i mean if it was just a stick built you know it would have just been lumber right. you know what i mean but the fact that there's trusses and metal and all that other stuff on here so many possibilities and he wasn't even done showing me before my head I already said I'm gonna give that to y'all <laughs> yeah. so um, I went I went ahead and before I got back and I actually told you about an hour after I got back we was working on that shop this yeah. morning and uh, that's what it's about it's about helping each other out helping family these guys help me a ton they have been a godsend to the mountain for sure and I try to help them anytime I can Y'all don't see it on camera. I don't show what I do on camera for 90%. these guys because I'm not doing it for views. I'm not helping them to get clout. I'm not helping them for any reason besides just to help them. <laughs> you know what I mean? So y'all don't see it. And I get a lot of grief for that, trust me, yeah, a lot. A lot. And uh, and I'm never going to show a lot of it, guys. It's just, it's not me. It's not, it's not what I'm doing it for, so. This, this is actually our, our both of our first time seeing the building. Yeah, yeah, they haven't seen it. Um, um, yeah. Lissa was sick. Yeah. Uh, Mike was on his uh, e-bike and all that and couldn't make it up here that, that morning. No, this was uh, actually, you guys had came up here before we started working, and I went back to check on Lissa. Oh, yeah. And then I came yeah. back. We, we, I mean, we met back. Yeah, so they didn't see it. <laughs> These views just mouth drop This is me. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh. But man, whenever I, I seen this building, I, I instantly thought, you know, cause they've been thinking about, you know, purchasing a shed and everything else. Well, with that, there's expenses that go along with yep. that. And then also there's payments and all that other stuff. Interest and all Interest kinds of other and stuff crap. like that. And so if we can pull it off out of pocket, I mean, that's ideal. Yeah. And uh, so Uber and myself, and I'm sure the gang, because at this point, I'm handing the baton off to this guy right here and this young lady right here. Um, this was, was going to be another project that I was going to plan and, and make happen for my neighbor because it's not as time sensitive as the other one, but it does need to be done before winter because what's left, he's burning it to the ground. Right. And uh, so I assured him that we would and we will. And we will. <laughs> and uh, we're going to actually start on this pretty soon. Um, I told him I would like to get started on it within the next two weeks. That would be amazing. Sometime. Um, so as soon as we get back from It's All Grady and, and helping them get their roof situated and stuff like that, uh, the planning starts. It's kind of why we are here right now. Um, because on this one, it's going to become their show. Um, I'm not planning it. I'm nothing but the back and the muscle and the equipment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I will be bringing my trailer up here. I will be bringing Uber up here. And uh, we're going we're to take it down. The big difference between this one is it's basically a total teardown. And the roof and the trusses are the main things. Yeah. So it's not like the other one where we got to take each piece apart. It should, in theory, in theory, go faster. 
Um, and we'll see. And we already know that uh, Uber can haul a whole 20 by 20 oh, shed. Yeah. So it can, definitely, it can definitely do a 20 by 16 <laughs> for sure. So I'm going to spin y'all around. I'm going to show y'all the outside of the building, guys. I'm not showing y'all the inside and the details and all of that. If y'all want to see that, these guys are actually in the middle of filming right now. You see the camera uh, shooting the shit. Shooting the shit. <laughs> I love saying that. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> I love saying that. They're in the middle of shooting that right now, and they're going to show in a lot more detail. And I've actually got to get to town because me and Mike's leaving uh, early in the morning in the to, go, to go help the Grady's. And uh, I got a couple of things I need to do in town, Russellville. I need to get gas and uh, some materials and stuff for the bathroom in the tiny house to finish up. And I need a gas, so I'm going to do it all anyways. So these guys are going to hang back and uh, kind of give you all a little bit more detailed view and plans and, you know, thought processes and all of that, what's happening. Y'all ready to see it? I'm so ready. All right, let's do it. Boom! There it is. Now, she ain't going to win no beauty contest, guys. This looks nothing like already what I thought it was going to look like. Yeah. I thought it... This looks more like a house, actually. Yeah, it's a good-sized building. But the good thing about it is, is as you can... With it up still you can picture the size right. the scale yeah. right and it's a good size scale i mean that's big enough to put three bedrooms in mm -hmm. you know what i mean each kid could have their own little spot you know now don't open the doors yet because i don't want these guys to see it um here they're gonna have to go over there but the only thing that i'm keeping on this guys is right up there oh yeah the cap because I was just gifted a wood stove and I'm going to use that cap for the stove. And I, that way all I got to do is buy the internal pipe. But it's got windows. The OSB, of course, is trash, guys. But I have a funny feeling that the floor and the studs in there are probably going to be pretty decent. And they use 2 by 4s as the wind runs for the metal up there. I mean, it's built pretty solid. Oh, nice. Well, just stop. 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 Check that out. Yeah. That's awesome. Where they. It looks uh, like another vent pipe. Yeah, it looks like they, where they had another stove in there or something. But, uh, yeah, I mean, matter of fact, I didn't even see this the other day. You can kind of see those two by fours are still in pretty decent shape. I mean, they got a little rod at the end. You might have to sister some stuff. But, yeah, beautiful setting. I mean, I would love to build a cabin right here. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to build a, nice a cabin. Spot. Mike's already peeking. I see. I seen you over there peeking, Mike. I seen you peeking. All right, guys. So to see the inside and to see what their plans are and all of this, because honestly, guys, I don't even really know all of their plans with it. I just know that the boys need a structure. And a structure was, I was blessed with a structure. And I'm able to return that blessing to Mike and them that can use it immediately. Um, because I'm going to have my hands full with the other shed as well. Right. You know what I mean? So I think it's a win-win. Uh, I can't thank our neighbor enough for all the blessings that he has stole upon me. Man, thank you so much. <laughs> in, in the last couple of days. And I've already told my neighbor too. Mike don't know this. I've already told my neighbor what I'm doing with it. So he, he's already <laughs> aware too and is happy that, that it's going to go to good use and all of that. So, you know, he's just a really big-hearted, great guy. So... I think that's going to be about it for us guys. You got anything to say, Lissa? Have a good day. Why are you smiling, Lissa? Because I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Our build is about to begin. Yeah, you happy, ain't you? Yes. <laughs> yep, love it. I knew my niece would be happy. <laughs> Mike was like, well, let's let her see it. <laughs> I said, she's going to like it. Trust me. How about you? You got anything to say? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so ready. Guys, when... It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> when is now? <laughs> All right, guys. Love every single one of y'all. I hope y'all having an amazing Tuesday. Make sure that you do something nice for somebody today, guys. If you get nothing else from this video, pay it forward when you can. Help somebody out. And always take a small step closer to your goal. Love every single one of y'all. And until we see each other again, come on. Keep it real.